Okay, let's continue by adding some tests to the API we have. As I said, this is just for demonstration. You're not gonna do any of this stuff in a production or in a real life, but as again, we are going to improve this API as we go. So to begin with, I would suggest to um, move all our handlers to like another function, let's say call it HTTP handlers or whatever we want. And then we are going to uh, introduce mock server. Still, this is part of the HTTP uh, standard libraries. And then we're gonna add tests. Okay, cool. And uh, to begin with, we are going to create a function called func. I'm going to call it, for example, I don't know, HTTP handler, handlers, uh, which is going to return the return type would be HTTP dot handler. Okay, so uh, the codes we need to remove would be these two, so they can go inside our handlers, and then we need to create a mock server on top. So I'm gonna just call it mox, which is going to be uh, HTTP dot new server mox. So we introduce this handler func, handle func, and well, we used to just use the HTTP package, now we can use mox instead, and it will be, all right, I'm gonna use mox here. The last thing we need to do, which is very simple, we're gonna just return mox. That's all we need to do. Here in our main function, so we need to use this handler function. So let's just call it, for example, mox server. And let's call it, well, we need to use HTTP handler. HTTP handlers. We have the mox server. We can use it in um, listen and serve. Because we used to use HTTP, we were we were sending nil, but now that we're using like a mox, so we can just use mox here, mox server. Everything should work as we want it. And if I just say go uh, run main.go, okay, we are gonna call API and I'm going to just, well, I'm going to check it here. If I call status, Status was called is 200 and also the root would be still the same thing. Yes, 501. All good. So the API is working as expected. Now let's write add some tests. I'm going to stop the server because we don't need it. Just to begin with, we will create main underscore test dot go. Package would be the same thing, but before doing anything, we need to use uh, HTTP expect. It just, uh, okay, we need to use HTTP expect. Uh, it will be, a, it's a library which can give us a lot of, uh, make the testing much easier. So we need to just go and get that one. So let's go get, what is it? GitHub. So we go to github.com, well, go HTTP expect, okay. So this is the library we're going to use for testing and it should be quite straightforward to use it and it gonna give us a lot of like uh, these assertions uh, we can do assertions much easier. So, and the way to get it, we need to 
well, we need to import the version two. So first we need to get the version two and then we can use, uh, we, we need to get it and then we can just use it. I'm just going to copy this bit, as you can see here. So we're going to get it, voila, all there. Uh, I'm going to also open this two files side by side, main and the test, so you can see what is happening. Package would be main, and we are going to use, uh, well, we need to just create the server and then try to call the server. And to begin with, let's uh, write, okay, we need to we need to test this uh, function. To begin with, we're gonna check the status. So it will be func test, I don't know, status. Uh, as I said again, this is just kind of not, you don't, you never do this stuff, this like, for example, these things in a, in a production or in a real life. And, but just for the sake of testing, we are going to call it test status because we are going to test the status endpoint and like everything else in a testing so we're going to pass t and this is a pointer to testing.t we're going to import it automatically which is great and we need to have the handler here handler would be http handlers this function here on the right side and then we're going to create a server. Our server would be HTTP, HTTP test dot new server. And we are going to use handler here. Okay, so far we are using only standard libraries. So this is okay. That's what I need to do. Okay, now that we have this server, we can move on and use the server um, with the HTTP expect. But before doing that, by the end of the test, we want to close the server. So we are going to defer the server.close. Okay, so far so good. We just, we just made the server ready for the test. After that, we are going to, uh, for example, create an API variables, and then we are going to just call um, HTTP expect. We don't have it. I need to import it. And the way to import it is whatever we had here on the terminal, the one we, the library name. So we're going to just quickly copy this one and paste it here we're going to call it http expect so it's http expect <coughs> dot new and okay then we're going to pass the t which is for testing and our server server dot url now we have api so it's easy now to just go and, for example, call any of our methods or any of our routes in API. So if I call it API dot, we can use get method, we can use post or any other methods we have. So far, we only have get methods, but we're gonna, as I said, we're gonna improve the API and we're gonna improve our testing as well. So we're gonna call the get, and then we're gonna call the status. What do, we, what do we expect from a status? It's quite simple. So we expect to have status uh, and the status would be HTTP dot status. Okay. So just to begin with, this is a very simple test. Let's run it. I'm going to just say go test. everything should be okay. And if I use a different status, as you can see, we are returning status okay. And if I go with 
status, I don't know, created, we are going to get different result. Expected 201 created, but it got 200. The, the errors are quite self-explanatory, so we don't need to be worried about writing like a errors for any of the, well, in traditional way, we don't need to write anything specific because it will handle all of them. So it would be status OK. And then we also need to check, for example, for the content type because content type is application.json. So we are going to say content type. Uh, it would be application slash JSON. I'm going to just put them in a new line just to begin with. Uh, okay. I'm going to put them in a new line. And it will be a JSON one, which that JSON one will be object, obviously, because we are returning an object here. And the object will contain the key, obviously. The key would be status, status, and then value would be equal to status, and the value would be okay. So let's run the test one more time. All good. Everything works as expected. If I just make it something at OK run and run the test, and there we go. Everything is as expected. OK, let's move on. We are going to create one more test for the root handler, or the slash, which was here. Handle root it really does nothing, but just for the sake of testing we can add it there as well so this is test let's call it test root and everything would be the same obviously we need to improve our testing because we are repeating ourselves here but we're going to improve as we go and uh, the test root would be quite simple so it will be calling a get to a slash the status would be status not implemented that's what we expect and the I don't know if you want to check for the content type or not but we know how to do it and uh, we don't really do anything more specific in test root and if I run it all good we can run it with a v flag to see more results it shows all of them everything's good so far so this is all about testing now we have test we can go back and improve our API and just put them in a different files and use more modulars. Okay, stay tuned and I'm going to come back and update this, uh, this API as we go.